Riley was arrested. I saw a request by someone um, in the Matt the Internet thread or in this thread that wanted a little rundown about who Riley is. Um, so I will give you a little rundown about who Riley is. I don't talk about him because he's one of those people, like Dick Masterson, who any any attention is good attention, even if he's negative attention. Um, but I think we're just going to have to peel the Band-Aid off because I think like Dick is having a fucking meltdown. And when he's having a meltdown, it's good to make fun of him. Um, so the fat retard that you see getting arrested here is uh, Riley. He goes by Young Clip on Twitter or some shit. But um, he went to... Uh, the he, he went to Eric July's um like comic book signing. It was like a convention or something in Dallas, and uh the convention called the police on him, and he was arrested for trespassing. And this was him getting arrested. They're putting him in the back of the car, and he's complaining about Eric July. So this guy is professionally associated with Dick Masterson in some capacity. To me. He was introduced as the producer for the Dick Show. He is a close friend of Digibro, aka Digi Knee, aka um, Conrad, the ex fiance of Amanda um, Ralph, <laughs> May Ralph. The it's actually kind of a complicated web of, of incest here. So Riley is Dick Masterson's producer. He is close friends with Digibro. Digibro was in a relationship with Amanda, who ended up getting married to Ethan Ralph and having his second demon spawn, um, now that they're separated, though. Uh, for a while, Riley was literally living with Digibro, um, and they were RVing or something around. The speculation was back in the day um, that Dick is involved in drug trafficking. Uh, a lot of people speculate that his Patreon is like a front for like drugs or something. I don't know if that's true. I don't really care. But a lot of people speculated, um, with good reason, that Riley would get drugs from Dick Masterson. And uh, that was their association. Like he worked for drugs or something. One of the most controversial things that ever happened to the Dick Show that chased off a ton of people was that Riley ended up in a relationship with a woman named Mint Salad. I've talked about mint salad before, but mint salad is, uh, she goes by autistic boobs now, and she does OnlyFans content. But she was a fan of the Dick Show, and she was a furry artist, and she one time called into the Dick Show and said, I'm drawing furry porn, and my adoptive parents don't like it, and they're as telling me I either have to stop drawing furry porn, or I have to leave their house. And Dick Masterson says you should do what you want and leave their house. So she did. And then she ended up in a relationship with Riley. This is controversial because mint salad is um, probably legally retarded. I'm not saying that to be mean. She is very obviously mentally deficient. Um, I think that in Europe she would probably be legally retarded like to the point where she would be in a care facility. Um, but in the U.S., we have a lower level of legal retardation. Our, uh, most of Europe, it's 70-something is legally retarded. In the U.S., it's 60, because if we didn't have 60 as the IQ limit, it would be a lot of black people who are legally retarded. So we have to be politically correct, and our level for mental retardation is lower. But she's probably somewhere 70 IQ. Um, the porn of her with... Riley is extremely depressing. Um, it's basically her and granny panties with skid marks in them. Um, Riley ha does urination stuff with her. Um, he has an extremely small micro penis. He has a humiliation fetish. So me even pointing out that he has a small micro penis is arousing to him, which is why I don't like talking about him because he's very gross. Um, but he, you know, he's this big, fat, disgusting slob that has a very small dick and he has a retarded woman that he can have sex with and sell the porn of to make money so he can buy drugs. And this was entirely orchestrated by Dick. Um, he got her isolated from her family. Um, she was adopted. She probably is a, a drug baby. She was probably put into the system from birth because her parent was probably high on cocaine when she gave birth or something, which was why she has a low IQ. She was put into foster care. She has adopted parents, but she left them behind to go hang out with Dick and his friends. Uh, she ended up in a relationship with Riley. They do porn now. 
he basically pimps her out on social media as like a social media pimp and collects her income. And that's the setup. Riley is very gross. He's very, very starved for attention. And um, he was the one that went out to uh, Texas to piss on the grave of Isom, the relative of um, Eric July, uh, from which the comic book Isom is named after. And, um, yes, Riley has done cum, sh cum shots and stuff with mint salad, and he has a very small baby dick. Like, it's, it's, it's like real porn. He pisses on her face. <laughs> like, and she's a retarded woman. She's like actually mentally deficient. Um, and this is all the product of, of Dick Masterson. If you are friends with Dick Masterson, you will eventually, uh, have a retarded man with a small baby dick pissing on your face. That's basically the fate, the fate of all of his associates. Um, and he also gets her like dressed up in like skimpy outfits and puts them out on Twitter. And occasionally because she says like retarded anti-feminist shit that everybody loves to eat up like slop, uh, it goes viral and he gets some attention and he likes that. So that's what they keep doing. Um, so he goes out to Texas and defaces a grave and, uh, goes to Eric July's business. They're not public business, like a, um, a, what, what, what is it called? Like a, like just like an office that they rent out and do work from. So it's not like a public place where you go to like meet Eric July or buy comics in person. It's just an office. So he shows up there without permission, um, and he tapes something to the, the front of the store to kind of be like, ha-ha, we're in your space, we're, we're showing up in person to, to your office, so on and so forth. Eric July says, don't fucking come back. He's basically warned not to show up. Um, the convention is on alert for them. Eric, or um, Riley shows up, and he gets arrested for trespassing. Uh, let's see the next tab. So Dick realizes that his base, remember, this is a guy that he has a professional relationship with. He has known for years. Er, Riley's the guy is the reason why I don't talk to Dick anymore because Riley was friends with the pedophile Digibro who, if, if you guys need a reminder of who Digibro is, let's see, just so, just so we're clear. Let's see here. This is why I no longer talk to Dick, just so that everybody knows. However, I will say this, did you, bro? Um, yeah. I don't know if this is accurate, because I don't know the terminology of, like, anime shit, but you are uh -huh. self-professed, uh, what is it, Lollicon fan? Yes. Does that mean I'm... that... What does that mean? It means that I am a huge fan of illustrations of little girls getting fucked. Oh. Now... <laughs> Oh, see that makes it. You see what you when you do that. Yeah. It makes it more. It makes it very uncomfortable. Of course it does. But like, I have to fight for that shit harder than anybody because I like that shit. And I know. If I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm looking at the shit, that means I got to be on the front fucking line. That's Digibro. Um, he and his tranny boyfriend were living with Riley and the retarded girl that were direct associates of Dick. That he, he literally linked all these people up. Um, and so when he sees that Riley is in jail over the trespass, he goes ballistic on Twitter to try and get attention from Eric July. Holy fuck, Riley's being arrested. Riley's being arrested. Eric July got Riley arrested. What a bitch. Tell Alex Stein to go to the parking lot to... Okay, this is the, one of the weird, worst tweets in this. Tell Alex Stein to go into the parking lot to help Mint. She's by herself. He knows. This tweet is fucking proof that he can get up there and he can say, oh, she's an adult. She can make her own decisions. Why are you, why are you like so concerned about what an adult does? He knows that she is so low intelligence that in an adult situation where somebody is being arrested and she's left by herself, she cannot navigate. She doesn't know how to get back to where she, her hotel. She doesn't know how to, how to handle money. She can't get a cab. She is like a lost child without an adult there to assist her to get back to where she needs to be. He knows this. And when she's in trouble, he has to call out on fucking Twitter for somebody at the convention to go out and help her because he knows that she can't do it herself. Uh, fucking sickening. 
Eric July has got Riley arrested. Fake and cap. Former gangbanger Eric July has snitched to the police. X-ray girl and love Leela Hart go outside and help Mint. Begging someone to go find Mint before she wanders off and gets hit by a train or wanders into traffic or something. Solari, save us. Eric July is the biggest bitch in the world. Fuck this shit. Anything you need. Okay, this is important too. Anything you need, Riley. Hashtag free Riley. The Eric July egging on Riley's in real life shenanigans. Riley's being transferred to Fort Collins or Dallas County so he can get bond set. Yo, what the fuck, Eric July? What a fatherless piece of shit. Hero. And this is a picture of, that's Mint on the right, and that's um, Riley. Riley is literally like four foot ten. He's one of the shortest people I've ever fucking seen. What do you think about Eric July getting Riley arrested? Pig fucking piece of shit. Cross eyes. Own this, Nerdrotics. You and your pig wife. By the way, this is fine. I get banned for saying we we can't wait for boomers to die off. Um, let's see. Hellhound says, "Haha, no AC needed, you cunts." At Ethan Van Shiver, fuck you too. EBS derangement syndrome on display. <laughs> As if EBS is like such an important person that people get deranged over him. It's hilarious to simp for a libertarian who hate cops right until a. Detractor is standing on a sidewalk. EJ and Ripetards are cowards. Um, Hackensack says, Going to events to stand outside and yell at others like a weirdo while everyone is inside having a good time makes you a loser, actually. Though I get it. Eric is bad because he made a comic. Dick Masterson says, You are probably a pedophile. So this guy, who has been crying for fucking years, that I have been calling Christopher Vito Gesualdi a pedophile, a pedophile, um, is... Now, randomly saying random people on Twitter is a pedophile. By the way, this is loud on Twitter. Me, no. Um, someone says, I bet Eric July does Riley Mugshot merch. <laughs> and even though um, he found this very funny with, um, what's his face? Ethan Ralph doing this. He says, so funny, bro. Uh, then he's like just screaming at random fucking people having conversations because they were like involved with like, oh my God, you're friends with someone that got someone arrested. What a bad person you are. Carolyn says, I just realized I only took a picture during the entire Ripperverse cleanup and was luckily with the nicest guy there. Thank you for helping me plan such an event at Triple D's B. Taylor. And he says, cross-eyed and no tits. By the way, this is allowed on Twitter, but I am not. Um, This is Mint, I think. Oh, is it, no, sorry, this is a random person um, explaining what happened at the- Who are you? Who is ya? How you doing? How are you? Who are you? Chad, nice to meet you. Hello, Chad. What's up with you? Wait, is this actually meant? Oh my god, I think this is actually meant. And she's ex I think that- if, remember, if this is the video that I think it is, um, just listen. Hello. Just wanted to see what, you know, uh- Yeah, this is meant. I guess you're not fans of to lie or I mean he did fault he did false flag young clippers Twitter and got it taken down. Okay. You know. Imagine walking up. Now remember, Riley Riley has renamed himself Young Clippa because Eric July's name is Young Rippa. That's like his one of his street names, I guess. He's black, so he has street names. Riley wants attention. And he's doing what Dick Masterson wants to get that attention. So he has crafted a parody persona around Eric July's young clip or young Rippa called Young Clippa. At some point, Young Clippa gets banned from Twitter. Mint Salad, who has a 70 fucking IQ and doesn't understand theory of mind, doesn't understand that not everybody in the world knows who Young Clippa is, approaches random man in a parking lot and starts telling him her plight of the Young Clippa band as if anybody in the fucking world knows what that means. And then after that, he made videos about how Young Clippa was lying that Eric July false flagged his mm -hmm. store, his parody logo store. Bro, this guy is like, like he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> like this retarded woman is yelling at him in a parking lot about 
young clippa. You don't know what the fuck that means. And there's like there's like words in there that make sense, like a schizophrenic, like will say things that you under that words that you understand, but in a way that makes no fucking sense to you. Do you not know, do you know anything about this? Well, Eric July has been lying about Young Clippa. He's been lying about Dick Masterson. Dick Masterson. My, my, my young, young Eric July have been yelling and telling not true about Dick Masterson. And for some reason, we don't consider it improper to put people who are mentally fucking retarded into pornography. If you want to see this girl get pissed on, guess what? Your buddy Dax Herrera got you hooked up. LA's finest. Basically saying that all their all the advice that they're given, not advice, all the words that they've been saying, all the reviews about ISOM, it being bad, they're saying that they're lying. And also, there's just so much that is, uh, Oh my God, she's stress sighing. She's stress sighing like fucking Christian. Jesus, that's so frustrating. Like the the stress sighs because she she's having like her brain is like fucking blowing fuses trying to articulate these simple thoughts. They're lying. They're lying about us. And they're lying. You know, it's just like her. She can't fucking handle the situation. That's just so much. There's a couple of super chats. Okay, I'm here to read the super chats. I'm I'm here with super chat. I'm not reading super chat is my job. My I learned the job slow, but now I know it by heart. It was the business that called the police, not there. So I just wanted to kind of, you know. He talked to the business owner. The business owner was like, "It's all right," and then got called the police on. So you tell me. Oh my goodness, we got some super chats. Oh my goodness, we got some super chats. I like it when we got the super tats, cause then I can read the super tats. That's my job. I read the super tats. Job is hard for, for then I won my job and now now I get to read the super tats. We got super tats. They master. Master so funny. Haha, <laughs> he go ack, 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 ack. Make me laugh. Make me laugh. I like it. I like Dick Master so. <sighs> That's my stress sign. And stop telling me about the fucking Streisand effect. I don't fucking care if people buy the comic or pirate it. I don't fucking care oh, if I people read it. Streisand it's, effect. Yeah, shut it. the fuck up. I don't care if I'm helping yeah, the marketing yeah, yeah. for this fucking book. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. 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 It doesn't matter. Just remember that when you get upset that your friend's arrested because he went to a convention, he wasn't allowed to and got arrested for trespassing. At your request. It doesn't fucking matter. So these are his mugshots, and the mugshots raise some interesting questions because he's wearing a fucking towel, and it looks like somebody punched him in the eye. When would that have happened? We saw him getting arrested. He did not look like this. So at what point did he get uh, a towel draped on him, and what the fuck happened to him? Expert um, criminals <laughs> on the Kiwi farms elucidated us and explained he got pepper sprayed at some point. At some point, he got pepper sprayed. His eyes are swollen because they're extremely irritated. And he's in a towel because they put him in a towel and they wash his eyes out at one of those sinks. So at some point, um, he, he got into a confrontation with the police or did something, maybe spit on them or something. He had like a tart out in custody and got pepper sprayed. Cool. So it, I mean, that has to be like recent, like between the, the arrest and the booking, which happens really early into the process. Like as soon as you get to the facility, they book you. He got he like had a proper fucking tart out and got pepper sprayed for it. So, I mean, it leaves up to the imagination what actually happened. Now, remember that Dick Masterson, a.k.a. Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed in the cow, says anything you need, anything you need, young Clippa, uh, Riley, I got you. Um, so this is meant um, after she was goaded into her um, her hotel by one of the friends of Eric Jala or uh, of, of Dick, she started a crowdfund, which has received two thousand dollars over 50, 50 donations, which is let's see two four four three by fifty four forty five dollars, which is half as much per donor as the people who wanted to see who paid six thousand dollars for the body cam footage of Nick Gata getting arrested. That was like average of eighty dollars per donor. Um, so 
I believe that they posted bail for him. He got bond posted. It was like a fifteen hundred dollar bond, and she raised enough money to post the bond. So I think Riley's out, and she she even refers to them here as young. Oh, bird! Oh my God! I was thinking, God, you know that's actually kind of impressive for for Mint to set up the uh, the GoFundMe because she's like a proper fucking retard. Bird is the Digipedo's boyfriend, tranny boyfriend. That's who Bird is. So Mint couldn't even set up a GoFundMe to give you an idea of how properly fucking stupid she is. She could not do the GoFundMe. She knew how to tweet the link. But the actual GoFundMe was set up by uh, Digibro's boyfriend. So Riley's still friends with Digibro and his boyfriend, and they set up the uh, the GoFundMe. Now it makes sense. Um, and I already played that. So that's the Riley shit. Um, I think he's out now. Uh, Eric July didn't fucking call the police on what's his face. He wishes. And Dick is desperately trying to send this into a win. However, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna lay out my prediction for him. Um, this shit with with Eric July is not Maddox. Eric July is not Maddox. He doesn't act like Maddox. He doesn't think like Maddox. He doesn't have Maddox's resources, i.e., no resources. He's a multimillionaire in terms of, of value. Um, and he has a, a a still active support system. His he has real fans that are independent of Dick's fans. So. When this guy fucks with Eric July, he's not fucking with Maddox, even though he really wants Eric July to be Maddox. For some reason, completely unknown to me. I still don't understand the crux of this thing where he really hates Eric July. I, I don't get it. Except that Eric July is more famous and successful than him. And he thinks that he can somehow capture that. But when you have to force it by sending people over to his conventions to harass him, and now your buddy's getting put in jail... Like you're building a a um the scaffolding by which you're going to be hung, because Dick thinks he's really clever. He thinks that if he sends retards off to Dallas and they get arrested and they do things that are illegal, well, it can't come back to haunt him. But I guarantee you, in each of these police reports that Eric July is giving, he's mentioning Dax Herrera up in L.A. and how this person is associated with Dax Herrera. Um, which if, if, if it doesn't lay the, the groundwork for a criminal case against him, it will definitely help with the civil case. And he's begging. Dick is begging this fucking guy to sue him. So that's also a difference. Like with the, the Maddox lawsuit, it kind of came out of nowhere. I think there was, there was stuff going on behind the scenes that was provoking Maddox. Um, which I, I still don't believe that it justified suing, um, Asterios or his company to be clear. But there was definitely some shit happening that was like that made Maddox believe that he had to sue. Um, but it came out of, because he was so bad about how he handled it and how he constructed the lawsuit and who he targeted and where he put it. He had no support for his lawsuit. Um, that won't happen with this. It's going to be in California because there are no. Because he's in Texas. Texas is anti They both have strong anti slap so it won't be like a defamation lawsuit either. It'll, it'll, it'll be like a proper business tort, and you'll have multiple police reports and arrests backing this. And, by the way, in case there's any question that Riley is an associate of Dick, um, I'm straight up, put my hand up, I volunteer. You need, you need like, a... A, um, someone to say that I know for a fact that Riley was Dick's producer on the show, even if it wasn't like a proper formal arrangement. Right here. I gotcha. Affidavit. Signed. Notarized. Anytime you need it, buddy. Uh, the, the building storm for this shit is not going to be Maddox 2.0. It will not be the lull suit. It will be a proper fuck you in the ass lawsuit. And it's coming. Dick thinks it's really funny, and he can you can see the palpable frustration that when Riley gets arrested, everyone just says, oh, that's a big fat retard who sexually exploits a retarded woman. Like, who cares? I'm glad he got arrested. They probably should have shot him, to be honest with you. <laughs> they probably should have put him in the fucking, um, <laughs> is it the Rio de Janeiro? The No, that's in Brazil. What's the big ass border? Is it the Rio Grande? Is that the border between Texas and, um... In Mexico, throw them in there with the the uh, attack crocodiles. You don't gotta like it, like no nobody feels bad for him. He went to a place he wasn't welcome and got arrested for it, and then did something retarded and got pepper sprayed. Okay. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>